Hello you lovely lot and welcome back to my Building a Minecraft Zoo series with a Zawa mod on Vintage Beef's Omega server. Now then, if you remember in last week's episode, I actually carried on developing one half of our Snowy exhibit ready for our penguins and I got a really useful comment from Ollie G who suggested using light blue glass as icicles and I thought that was really good and if there was anything sort of white like in the way of walls or whatever that that could actually extend the icicle so i'm going to be having a look in our jei to see if we've got anything like that he also suggested a name for one of the penguins pingu and i love it but before we get on with the penguins i need to have a peek at the flamingos because i didn't do that last week i totally forgot we also have a look at what praying mantis we have as the third of our little critter um exhibits which i'll do in the future and we need to sort out proper storage for all the captured animals that I've got because they're just all over the place and I just can't find anything when I want it. So we'll finish off with the penguin exhibit and releasing all of the penguins. So let's get on with having a look what's happening in the flamingo enclosure. Now then, last week I totally forgot to have a look for Jenny in the flamingo enclosure. So I must have a look today. And I've not had much of a problem with flamingos, except they all like to be over there. So Jenny should be there. Now then. Oh, so many of them. So many of them. And they're all called flamingo. Let's have a look. Uh, not in there. No Jenny there, I don't think. Can't see her here. Nope. Nope. Oh, I can't see you. Oh, you're a flamingo as well. No. Oh, you do make a racket. Oh, my goodness me. Uh, no. No. Hmm. Come on, Jenny. Where are you hiding? Is that you over there? Ugh. Can't get through this stuff. Let's have a look. No. Oh. Come on, Jenny, where have you gone? Now, let me see this some up here, look. There's quite a few up here, actually. I've got to get through it, read up a few of these leaves. Uh, let's have a look. Jenny, there you are! What are you doing up there? Oh. Are you stuck? Oh, my goodness me. Oh, 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 my goodness. That, that was an accident. I'm so sorry. Come on. Out. Out of here. Out. Out. Come on, Jenny. Come on out. What's the matter with you? You're going to have to come out of there. Can't have you in there. Let me. I'm going to go, have to go and get some leaves. Right. Let me just get rid of this ice and uh, put some leaves in there. I can see you up there. Let's have a look. Uh... Oh dear. Come on, you're all going to have to get out of my way. I'm trying to do a job here. Out. Go on, down you go. Down you go. Go on. Down you go. Now then, Jenny. Come on, you're going to have to come out of there. I can't have you in that little hole all the time. You've got to go out and have some fun you have. Let me get in. Come on, let me help you out. Out, down there. Let me cover this up. These leaves have despawned here. I'm sure they have because I didn't leave these gaps here. Come on, out, out. I'm going to have to check this more regularly. Down you go. A little bit of zoo maintenance. There we go. Uh, no, no, don't be trying to get back up here. I'm going to have to fill all this in if you're going to do this. This is silly. Come on, down you go. You can't stay up here, Jenny. Come on, go out and go out and explore the world. Come on. There you go. Let me just get these back on here. Go on, down you go, Jenny. Out you go. And get these sorted. Oh my goodness me. There we go. That's another job done. Where is she? Is, is that her? Ah, so you're taking my advice and having a little look around. There you go. I'm sure you'll find a better place than in that little tiny hole you found. Right. So that's enough for one inspection, I think. They look all right now. 
and they're all on the floor. That's all right. Good, good, good. Let me take this torch off. There we go. Nice. Now, I haven't found any new spiders or scorpions on my recent travels, but I have found one or two different praying mantises. But I can't remember what I've got and what I haven't. I'm going to have to sort out my my storage. I really am. So I just wanted to have a look. That's a brown one. Let's give it a, a heel. Because uh, when I get back in the net, it'll die if I don't. It's like the butterflies. A Chinese praying mantis. Okay. All right, then. That's good. Let's have a look at the other ones. Get you back in there. So that's one of them. I'll put that up in the top there. Now what's this one? Oh, that's a light green one. What would that be? A European praying mantis. Very good, very good. That's a different one. Let me give you a heel. There you go. Oh, have I had that one already? I think I might have done mine. Uh, that was the dark, like the dark one at the beginning. Yeah, Chinese pray, praying mantis. I've had that one already. I'll put that one in there. What's this one now? Ooh, that's a jazzy one. Let's have a look. A devil's flower praying mantis. Okay, let me just give it a heel. There we go. And, oh, that's a... Is that... No, it doesn't look the same. Oh, an African praying mantis. All right, that's good. I like that. Right, so I'm, I think I'll name these that I'm putting back in the general storage. And then I'll know what they are. And a European mantis. So I've just got those two spare ones. And I did think I had more than that, actually. But I haven't, so I'll have to keep my eye out for some more. And I've got animals everywhere. I really am. Because I just keep picking them up. So I have got a lot of enclosures. And I've got some spawn eggs as well. When the server went down that time as compensation, do you remember? And Shelly gave me some of her crate keys that she wasn't using. And so I got some of the spawn eggs out of those. So thank you ever so much for that, Shelly. Those were very useful. And I'm thinking I'm going to put this new storage right in this wall. And I'm going to use barrels. So let's have a look and see how that looks. Let me get my barrel down there. Pop it in here. Yeah, I'm quite liking that. I think these maps will have to go because I think I can get another strip along there. There we go. And I'm thinking, I was going to put um, item frames on, but I think I'll just put signs on, to be honest. Because what am I going to put in an item frame? So, we'll start off with snow leopards. Right, that has taken me a very, very long time. I'm going to have to put some zebras in with the giraffes. Because I just haven't got enough space. And they are often found together, so I don't think that's uh, I don't think that's too bad. Now I've been looking in the JEI, and there isn't an awful lot that is white. In fact, there's nothing really. They've all got a grey tinge to them, or some form of pattern, and I don't really like that at all. And I haven't come across anything else that really could do for icicles. Oh, what are these? They look like those crystals you find in geodes. Sub-zero crystal cluster. Ooh, I wonder if I could get hold of some of those. Ooh, I'm going to have to ask, ask around about those. Those look like they could do. For some, anyway. Right, back at the penguin exhibit. And I've just brought a bit of this uh, snow. These snow slicers, I don't know what you call them. And I just want to vary the terrain a little bit. So I'm just going to put some up just, just like this and dotting them about. I have done some, but I don't think I've done enough because it does look pretty plain. The other thing I'm going to do is add a little bit of ice in the exhibit rather than just in the water. So I'm just going to dot some about just so that you just see a little bit of it, you know, out the corner of your eye. It's not going to be a lot in there. So I'm just going to spread that around a little bit. I think that just adds a touch of, you know, coldness that you don't get without ice being there. I built that little climbing um, rock thing. 
out of ice so I'll put a few more dots of ice around something at the front here as well I think that'll fit in quite nicely and then probably one more just around here I might do a bigger one here at the front there we go a bit more there there we go yeah I think that's uh, looking a little bit more with a, with a few more can I put one in here as well the thing I found to add is a little bit of this quartzite sand as well um, I know it's not ice or it's not snow but it just adds a little bit of texture and I, I'm just gonna try and put this where you might find shadow so sort of in between and behind things like there so I'm gonna dot this about as well and I think that looks um, that's I think that fits in okay oh missed that let's get that back up there we go I don't think I want it anywhere else really oh what's that up there Oh, I'll have to sort that out. Have I got some snow? I have. Let me just go up. I think that was when I was putting the flowers on top. I must have taken out the snow from the bottom. Or maybe it didn't have any on. And while I'm up here, I'm going to add some of these so I can put the icicles underneath them. I wish there were some just white walls. That would be, that would be really good. But there aren't, so we'll have to make do. Yeah, I'll put quite a few of these around. I put some there come on come down that's it now for the icicles and I've made some light blue glass panes and I've got to be careful with them because I don't want them to attach to anything so I can't put them where next to anything except on a diagonal that's okay uh, can't put any more in there let's have some more up here I'm just going to carry on doing this we go let's have a look at that oh yeah that looks quite cool doesn't it I mean you know they're not exactly like icicles but they give you that impression of coldness and dripping so I quite like that now the other thing I saw from over there was that this side didn't look very completed so I'm just putting some more snow on this side just to bring it forward a bit so and I'm just gonna blend it into this middle bit. Right, let's stand back and have a look at that. Yeah. And this side, on this side to the middle bit here, looks like it needs a bit more snow on it. So I think I'll put some more of that up there as well. I'm gonna add a little bit of light using torches and carpets, because we put white carpets on those. And that's another little tip from Oli. I found it. Ash has come to have a look and see what advice they can give me about how to make the edging right for penguins to come out safely. And Maddie Lynx also gave me a tip about that as well. So they're both very similar in that I have a step, a step up for them or one block down from the edge to allow them to get out. I think I'm not sure if this was a tried and tested solution but it was a suggestion that I'm I'm very pleased to try because I didn't have any thoughts of my own really what I should do and I certainly don't want them drowning we've had enough of we've had enough of drownings on here so I don't want the penguins to drown right let me have a look and see what it looks like up here oh my goodness I can't get up yeah I think that looks okay I'm just going to add one or two more spruce trees around the top and the sides as well because I do think that framing it with um, spruce trees looks pretty cool. I quite like the look of it. What was that? A butterfly. There we go. Yeah. Let's have a look at that then. Can I get down there from here? So. Oh yeah, that looks that looks better. I like that framing of the, the spruce and I'll carry that on around that side as well nice now for the naming and the first one is going to be named Pingu thank you Oli G for that suggestion and where have the rest of these names come from we've got Mumble Gloria and Memphis 
Norma Jean and Noah, Miss Viola, Eric, Bo, oh, I think I need a new anvil. There we go, let's carry on. Uh, Raymond, Lovelace, Sven, and Carmen, Seymour. So here we are. I've got my little shulker box full of penguins. I'll just pop that down here. There we go. And I'm just going to pop them out and name them as they come out. Right, I should put this first one. This first one here. <laughs> Hello, Sven. I'm going to put this one here. Oh, you're a baby one! Raymond. <laughs> I didn't realise I caught baby ones, actually. But uh, I'm good about that. I like that. And this one. Hello. Hello. Um, this very special one's been right at the front here. I don't know if you'll have a swim or what, but... Oh, another baby one! Don't you fall into that. Don't you fall in there and not be able to get out. You get in there. Pingu, go on <laughs> over there. I didn't realise. I can't remember catching the baby ones. You go over there. There you go. Wait till I put some grown-ups in front here because I don't want you falling in and not being able to get out. Let's pop another one. Yeah. There you go. There you go. That's you. And all these are going in. All of them. All of them. Absolutely all of them. Plenty of space for them all, I think. And... Can I put one up here? Uh, can I put one there? Oh, wow. There. No, 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 don't go over there. No, 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 you aren't supposed to go up there. Oh, come on, back in here. I put that in the wrong place, haven't I? Let me move it. Yeah, you saw, you saw an opportunity to get out. What are you like? Oh, my goodness. You can't get out over there. Oh, that's a bit annoyed with me, I think. Pop this here. Uh, pop some around this side. There we go. Uh, did I? I did name you, didn't I? I named, named you. I named you, Gloria. And who are you, Sven? So you're all named, aren't you? That's all right, then. And another one for you. Uh, you can go there. There we go. Noah. And another one here. Oh, there we go. There we go. And that's another one. Pop you there. Uh, oh, you nearly done. Can I pop you on there? Oh, you do jump, don't you? When you come out your nets. Um, there. Penguin, let's see. Who's next? Lovelace. Oh, Lovelace. Can you stay up there? Oh, you're sort of one, aren't you, Lovelace? It's you. And there's two more. We've got Carmen. Carmen. There we go. And one more. Oops, there's anything that in there. One more. And this is Seymour. Seymour, you can just go there. There we go. There we go. <gasps> what are you doing there? Who are you? Gloria, how have you got over here? No, are you jumping over the fence? I didn't think that would be... Doable. You stay in there, Gloria. I'm gonna have to put another thing around the fence. Another one over there! No! What is going on? I didn't know! Oh, that's Gloria. I'm just taking you back, Gloria. Mumble. No, you stay over there, Gloria. Oh my goodness. Oh dear. Let me get some more fencing. I have got some here somewhere. Where did I put it? Um steel fencing. Right. Let me get it here right quick. She's coming again. No! I don't like it too high though. I wonder if I could put something on top that would. You stay in there, you naughty penguin. Anybody swimming? Okay. <gasps> Look! One of them's swimming! Now, can they come out? That's the thing. Come on, get out. Don't be dying. I might have to put stairs in, mine, sir. There we go. Whoa, 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 whoa. Have a look. Look. Nobody poofed in there, did they? No. That's good. Is that one stuck there? He's stuck, I think. Oh. Excuse me. Gotta get in here. Come on out, Noah. Oh. Dear. 
Come on. Come on. Out. Oh dear. Let me put this back in here. And uh, put this back here. And then can I put something else there? Spruce leaf. I'll just put that there for now. Wondering, can I put uh, stairs there? Right, let's have a look. Ooh, I don't like that look. I don't like that white edging, and I don't like the double fence either. I won't have to think about that. I wonder if I should put a few more in. See if they can get out, because Gloria's not coming out. She's been in there for ages now. Hmm. And they're all gathering up at the top there. I mean, I did want them on different levels, but... Hopefully they won't all gather together like the flamingos. We'll see. Oh, they're still up in that corner. They all seem to want to get to the same spot. Hmm. But Gloria's still swimming about down there. She seems to be okay, I think. Well, I've been watching them a little while and they're just all gathering up in that corner. What did they do in? But, oh! That's taking damage there. They're pushing each other off. And they're falling down. Oh, let me get my book. Let me have a look. Oh, yes, look at that. Oh, my goodness me. What are you like? Come on, you can't stay up there now. Oh, look, stop it now. Stop it. No, no. That is no good. I can't have you up there. They're still getting up. No, they can't get up now. No, you're not going up there. I don't want you up there. I did want you up there, but I wanted you to be able to get down as well. You're just pushing each other off and you're going to be killing each other. If you keep... Oh, sorry. Oh, dear. No, you can't. No. 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 Definitely not. Definitely not. Absolutely not. Have they all gone into that corner? Oh my goodness. And then I went to see if I could find some of these Sub-Zero crystals. And Zavira very kindly allowed me to TP to her because she'd recently found a Sub-Zero biome in the nether. So I set her home there and I set off to look for these crystals because they weren't very obvious, not at all. And I was just thinking that I wasn't going to find any when I peered over the edge and actually found something that looked like them. So I very carefully made my way down because Underneath me was a very big lake of lava, and I didn't want to end up in there. I couldn't see any crystals, mind. That looked like a crystal grower there, that one with the X on it. So I went about taking these other blocks that I was to put the crystals on. But I couldn't find any crystals, so I needed to find some more. And again, peering over the edge, I actually found some more and I very very carefully made my way down because it was still a long way down even though I wasn't over lava at that time and I could actually see some crystals so I set about getting them off very very carefully I should imagine they would go bigger if you hung about a bit but I didn't have time at that point, but I certainly will go back and have a go and see if I get some bigger ones. 
so I just got as many buds as I could. Oh, I had to go up for that one. I got about eight altogether. Now then, where am I going to put these? I don't want to put a lot in. I just want to put three or four in. That's all. Just to give it another feel of iciness and coldness. So let's pop one in here. Let's have a look. And that should stay on there. Yeah, look at that. I wish they were bigger though. I think I'll have to go back and do some waiting around to see if they grow bigger. There. Ah, that looks a lot different now. I took that ice out between the snow and the edge in there as well to see if that looked better. But you can still see there's a different edge in there. And I haven't figured out what other fencing I'm going to put on there, but I am going to put a different one because I don't like two on top like that. So that is about it. I'm going to keep my eye on these penguins. I really am. They're still all collected over in the corner there. But Gloria is swimming around quite happily. But she's not got out since she's got in. So I think she's stuck in there. I really do. I'm just wondering whether to put a few more in. Just to see whether they can get out. But uh, yeah, I think that'll be it for this episode. So if you enjoyed it, give us a thumbs up. And if you haven't done already, do subscribe for more content like this. And I hope to see you in the next episode. When we'll be dealing with the polar bears. Come on, Eric. Have a swim. Go on, go and have a swim. Gloria likes it. Look at her go. Now, don't be doing anything like dying there. Go on, go and swim. Go on, swim, swim. Right, I shall keep in my beady eye on these over the next week and we'll see what they get up to. So take care, everybody. Bye-bye.